These are the top five biggest Google flops. Google has had lots and lots of successful products. There's Search, Maps, Assistant, Chrome, Pixels. That's a pretty good track record. But the company does not always knock it out of the park with everything. Let's talk about the duds. Number five, Google Video stuff. We're going to lump Google Video and the original Google TV together. When it comes to video, Google did not get it right for a long time. In case you forgot, Google Video was a site where people could upload their own videos. For a while, the company had both Google Video and YouTube coexisting before betting on YouTube. YouTube was something Google acquired, so at least it bought wisely. Then there was Google TV. You could get it on Sony devices like the NSZ GS7. What was the problem? No dedicated apps for things like Hulu, Amazon, and even Google's own movie rental service. Google TV became Android TV, which has since taken over the world, as we all know, right? Coming in at number four is Google Wave. Do you remember Google Wave? It was this collaborative editing web app. You could write entries with other people or add comments in real time. It was also a cross between email and forms and docs, so as it was a confusing product, it didn't really catch on. As of April 30th, 2012, Google Wave was shut down. Aw. Oh. Parts of Google Wave ended up in Google Docs, which made sense since you'd want real-time collaboration there. And number three is Google Buzz. This was a Google social networking venture. Here's what happened if you tried Buzz in Gmail. You'd automatically follow everyone in your Gmail contact list. A vanity URL made your email address very, very available. Oh, did I mention that the mobile version of Buzz broadcast your location by including it in your Buzz post? Yep. The close linking of Gmail and Buzz plus the whole location thing did not fare well for Google. Those are just some of the reasons why Buzz was shut down. It's a good thing Google didn't try to do a social network again, right? Wait, they did? Ugh. Number two, the Nexus Q. Seriously, what the heck was this thing? Look at it. It's an orb of wonder. Here's what it was supposed to do. Play music directly from Google Play Music, as well as video from Google Play and YouTube. The Q could also power speakers. If you wanted to stream from something like Netflix or Spotify, nope. What about your own server? Nope. How do you control it? An Android phone. It only cost $300. Google rethought the Q before going all in with it. Pre-orders were shipped to people at no cost. Most of the features you would get from the Q wound up in the much more successful and reasonably priced Chromecast. And the biggest Google flop has to be Google+. Google+, Plus arrived at a time where people were hungry for an alternative to Facebook. It seemed like a good way to start over with a social network. You could easily share two circles of people. But it failed to really catch on like Facebook did, which is not a ding. Facebook has something like 2 billion monthly active users. That's insane. Google Plus is in the process of shutting down at this point after a big flaw came to light. One Google engineer wrote about his experience on the Plus team. He said that if your team integrated Google Plus features on Gmail or Android, the team would get a 1.5 to 3x multiplier on top of their yearly bonus. He went on to say, you read that correctly, a f ton of money to ruin the product you were building with bloated garbage that no one wanted. No one really needed this. This made Plus the center of the Google universe. Google put a lot of time, money, and personnel into Plus, and soon, it'll be dead. I think that qualifies it as the biggest dud. So the lesson here is Google will eventually be successful with social networking, once it buys Twitter. Special mentions to the Nexus 7, Android for tablets, and Frugal. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.